Oh, that was heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm somewhere in the middle of the Appalachian Mountains and uh, as you can probably tell it's pretty cold up here stayed at a motel last night where the bed sheets smell like fish and chips which is actually not as unpleasant as it might sound it's icy out here oh. all right this is what's on the agenda today we're going to a place called the Carnival Cafe, which is in Rogersville, Tennessee, about 100 miles away, to do battle with the Philly Cheesesteak Challenge. Hoping if it's 100 miles away that the weather is a little bit milder. We'll see. All right, we made it. Rogersville, Tennessee, where the weather more agreeable seems to be. That was a sexy rhyme. Hi, I'm here to do your, uh... Um, can I go? Yeah, the Philly cheesesteak thing. Yeah. yeah? So the cool thing about this one is, every time somebody beats the challenge, it goes up a half pound in weight, and this is the current champ. Joe Waskowitz, you think? I'm probably saying that wrong. Oh, that was the record for two years? Yeah. No one's beat him. <laughs> oh man, I feel like, I feel like, I might feel guilty if I beat Joe now. It's three feet? Yeah. Damn. All right. I think the waitress is worried about tripping it up. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna trip, it's fine. <laughs> I really hope you're hungry. Wow, that's big. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they weighed it out appropriately, but that looks like more than five and a half pounds to me. So this is gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough one. I can feel it. You don't have to eat the fries. Yeah? <laughs> I'll probably eat the fries anyway. All right, I'm at a place called Carnival Cafe in Rogersville, Tennessee today, and I'm taking on the Philly Cheesesteak Challenge. The cool thing about this challenge is you get one hour, right? One hour. But every time somebody beats it, you have to go a half it pound heavier. Yeah. That's cool. How much does it cost? It's uh, $60. It's a unit spray. Uh, picture goes up the wall, comes with a freezer, and uh, it's a $50 gift card. A free dessert and a $50 gift card. And those are like framed pictures on the wall. They're not just like stuck on the wall. They're fully <laughs> framed and everything. That's been the, the record for two years, right? Two years after the record, yeah. <laughs> yeah? All right, you give me a three, two, one, and I'll, I'll get started. Three, two, one. Oof, let's get involved. I might get, do you have a, uh, any utensils? <laughs> I should have, uh, I should have got those before I started. <laughs> I think I'm gonna dig the meat first, you know? Yeah. Oh, There's thank you very much. Example. You've definitely seen the videos. Oh, yeah. You give me that many napkins. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, she hit it well, but apparently she's seen some of my work before, which explains the big wedge of napkins. Anyway, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode. We're back in Tennessee today, almost a year to the day since the last time I was here, and we're at the Carnival Cafe, having a bash at the Billy Cheesesteak Challenge. This is a lot of meat. I wonder how many slices of cheese are in this thing. Uh, I, don't tell me, I dread to think. Yeah, I can probably tell you. I'm pretty sure they found it. I'd rather not know. I, I, I'm, I don't want to get psyched out. I'm, I'm making uncharacteristically good progress here. I think I've probably eaten enough meat now that I can actually eat them like a, yeah. a real sub. Yeah, I had to go in with a spoon at the start, otherwise the fillings would have gone everywhere. And uh, on that topic, actually, you can choose what type of cheese steak you want, be it just steak and cheese, the classic with peppers and onions, or you can even get pepperoni on there. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. This is heavy. Did you just say 26 slices of cheese? I did. I was hoping you didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
Is there a hospital around here somewhere? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should be fine then, right? Yeah. Got 26 slices of cheese. It's got to be what two, two and a half thousand calories by itself without the meat and the bread and the fries and the peppers. I'm surprised you didn't want to stick around and see if I won or not. I suppose it's kind of disgusting to watch up close, you know, in real life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I've got to win now. That's pressure. I don't suppose you have root beer. Oh, can I get a can I get a root beer? Thank you. Oh, man. Come on. There you go. Thank you very much. Hey, root beer on deck. The sandwich is delicious, don't get me wrong, but it's a little on the keen side. By which I mean it's salty, so the root beer should help with that. That's refreshing. It still tastes good. Fifty, like, I'm nearly finished, it still tastes good, which is a, that's a good thing. It does still taste good, which I have to say is a rarity at the end of a meal this substantial, but I suppose that's testament to its quality. And I really enjoyed this one, you know. I don't recall ever having done a Philly cheesesteak challenge before, in a restaurant anyway. But I'm glad I finally got around to it, even if it was in Tennessee rather than Philadelphia. Although the owners are from Philly, which I suppose means I'm getting the real deal. Anyway, we've almost toppled that two-year record now. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you at the next one. Thank you very much. Do you know how long I've been going? Oh. 16 minutes. Did Joe finish the fries? Do you know? He didn't eat the fries. All right. He went back to work. My God, I'm gonna go for sleep. That's where I'm going. All right. In that case, this is Bimmy's food, and that was Carnival Cafe's Philly Cheesesteak Challenge. Pretty well beaten. That was a good round of applause. I'm not gonna waste the food. Don't. I'm, I'm gonna eat the fries. But like the ta the the challenges, the challenges don't include it, right? So I'm I'm gonna stop the timer. And keep on scoffing. These kind of feel a bit like Five Guys fries, so they might be pretty good. So what's the uh, what's the best dessert you have? God no. Ste steady, steady. Is it like that when you say Oreos, are they just like fried Oreos? Yeah. Oh, can I, I mean, can I just get like a, just a few of those? The four, cups of Oreos. four? Can I just, can I get that then, please? Yeah. Is that okay? Thank you very much. Some deep fried Oreos. For you. <laughs> Thanks very much, man. Yeah, buddy. Appreciate it. Cheers. Yeah, I just go around eating food. Where are you from? I'm from England. Yeah. Don't shoot. <laughs> no, no, I'm just out here like for work. This is this is my work. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, yeah. Oh, yummy. Last time I ate these, I think I had like 60 some, 68 or something. I could be wrong. Oh, is this the, this is the gift card? It is. It's all like little ones, but oh, each okay. of them have 10 bucks. All right, thank you very much. Nice. <laughs> you always wanted to meet a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. This must be a real letdown then, I'm sorry. Hard lines, Joe. <laughs> Don't tell me too hard. <laughs> Who knows what might happen? Oh my. That was heavy. There's no way that was five and a half pounds. No way. <sighs> yeah. Did you say England the way they put the coin list? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she did until she died recently. Yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah, yeah she, she cropped over. Yeah, yeah. I, live, I live, like, right across the street from Tom. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>